internet connections if you haven't been seeing this uh check the bod later tristana and lulu versus kaisa and seraphine in the bot lane yeah going pretty well so far <laughs> things are going pretty well well enough at the least there is uh something we were mentioning before that we did not get to mention in the game because we didn't notice it uh it is not a bug that the tristana has ignite he has in fact gone for that to try and go for more of a solo lane style uh summoner choice just try and abuse the winning matchup that Tristana has into Kaisa as she will be jumping on in, getting a good hunk of damage onto I'm Kim. Just punishing this Kaisa in the early game, especially where she can't effectively trade back safely because of the fun interaction that that Q has, where it really likes to uh, go to many different targets rather than just a singular target. But other than that, it will be expected or rather anticipated that as this slow push builds up for Anticha and Albatalia that things will work Great on Hecarim. Out well. Yep. But able I to just quickly steal that frog wing, hop right out. Uh, yeah, good good one. But that's gonna lead into a fight, in fact, as youngest Lay is actually getting the better of Pooh here and he's gonna dash forward able to pick up the kill. In the meantime, the Tristana has jumped down on top of the Kaisa. She's now jumping on top of the the Seraphine, not able to get the kill, though. As Youngest Lei is trying to aggress forward through the teleport, in fact, from Sly Brad. He will be able to just eat the teleport, though, and get a dash over the wall. So a massive teamfight victory, in fact, I would think, for this side of Team Solo Rock. They were able to pull a bunch of summoners uh, that are very meaningful. It is a shame that Shadow Spade is choosing to freeze top lane instead of shove it. Uh, though I think he's trying to shove it as humanly possible as fast as Shen can. Um, or as fast as humanly possible as Shen can. Because Shen, especially without Tiamat or uh, Bammies, is not exactly known for his super lane shoving abilities. Yeah, uh, really good getting the TP out of Slybrad. Actually used up all the bot lane sums on the side of Team Solo Rock, and Kaisa still ended up dying to that Ignite Tristana. But Graves is just going to have a permanent lead at this point. Opted for the intelligent choice of rotating to top scuttle instead of uh, staying bot lane where his lane didn't have prio, and now is able to get top scuttle and get those raptors away, at least the large one, uh, maintaining a just about two camp lead over the Hecarim. Pretty good by Youngest Lay. Yeah, good abuse of his lead. Like you said, invading that top side, getting a lot of pressure down onto the Hecarim, forcing Who to just play back on himself and try and scavenge for whatever camps he has up. It's an awkward timing, too, because only his Gromp has come up. He's not able to... Uh, effectively move around so you can expect a gank somewhere in the in the coming minutes but in the meantime interestingly the tristana is just letting this wave sag into her and it's a great move coming out in the at least until he accidentally shoves it anyway um but i, just I can't play him to, too much you know you're tristana yeah, yeah <laughs> i was gonna say you are tristana so it's not like he can really help it, but it does help him massively that I'm Kim here is choosing to actively shove the wave back on in. And in fact, thanks to the Seraphine, they're getting the better of this trade down bot, forcing the heal out of the Lulu. Yeah, great route from well. Seraphine. Uh, pretty nutty. Got rid of their only uh, defensive summoner spell in the lane over the side of uh, First Crater Crusaders of VCU. And what I want to note, just about the grade that he, one, he's uh, rotating down to bot lane right now, and two, just because the camp lead was from taking Hecram's camp, that he's just expanding that lead even more by taking his own camp while uh, Hecram's are still spawning. Able to get some nice vision out. I'm not sure uh, if he should be going for the dragon right now. It looks like he might. But no, yeah. he passes up. No, I believe he's in fact just going for Scuttle as now there's duels everywhere. Sly Brad, for whatever reason, flashes out of tower way too early, and now Youngest Lay is causing a lot of pressure onto Red Lightning. Red Lightning's forced to flash out as now the Tristana's jumping on in, but all in all, 
not much taken or not much loss rather for a lot taken by team solo rock red lightning lost both summoners where as youngest lay only cost him his ignite and that yeah. allows the kaisa also to uh catch up as there's actually a fight coming in again poo is caught being just absolutely punished by youngest lay but not level six yet either champion they will just kind of move away from one another as youngest lay might actually hunt for the kill right now he is moving under tower already though Pooh is sprinting away and he's caught a very low health thanks to the collateral damage and that could have been scary but in the end both sides just get away from one another relatively safely yeah i really like the ignite graves pick this game the more and more i think about it because the early dueling graves into hecarim it just made so uh easily in graves's favor when you're able to nullify the healing with your ignite it just makes it so graves just always comes out on top and when you scale into the late game graves are just going to naturally win the matchup but yeah. whole uh whole jungle to clear for graves now uh looking pretty nice and we also have that shen ultimate up which should be pretty uh keen on getting this dragon yeah we're probably looking forward here for i'm kim to start holding back this wave letting the tristana naturally shove into her especially like you said with that dragon up it'll be big as youngest lays working his way through his camps from top to bot side there's not really much to find up top um it is shen and the scion it is going to be two meatballs slapping at each other and not really finding all that much anymore as items come in uh and it's interesting that i'm kim is for shoving this wave so hard because that's going to give the Tristana a good backup to jump onto the Seraphine. Absolutely nuke her. In the meantime, in the mid lane, at least there's a kill, kill traded right back. Shen's going to try and come and save I'm Kim's life, but it's just not going to happen. I'm Kim and Eric's P will fall thanks to a very aggressive play from Tristana and Albatalia. Only traded back for Red Lightning's life in the mid lane, but... Getting this Tristana rolling is absolutely what you want if you're on the side of First Crusade here. Yeah, and Sly Brad was able to cancel the ultimate from Shen there with his Q. Sly Brad's actually uh, maintaining a massive lead in the top lane, 30 CS lead, and just constantly thought, shoving this Shen, is, Shen in. I thought the, uh, I thought whatever her name was just died before. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I was pretty up in the air on whether she died or if he canceled it, but he definitely uh, put the Q out to cancel it. So, oh, okay. I'll give Sly Bride credit. That's understandable. But that was a pretty easy dragon going over for the first crusade of VCU. Uh, Eric's XP wasn't able to exhaust the Tristana there. I, I feel like an early exhaust might have uh, saved her life. But it's hard to say. Hindsight 2020. Yeah. It is definitely hindsight 2020. So moving forward on in here, this is also a big thing. Like I was saying in that 1v1 between the uh, the Malzahar and the Velkaz, the Velkaz is always going to have that heavy shove going on into Mr. Malzahar just because you can control so much from so far away, keep that uh, passive shield permanently popped. And it's all slowly falling in favor of First Crusade as there's just gold leads amassing everywhere. 20 in mid, a little inkling of one in bot side and 30 up top. It's very rough going for the side of Solo Rock in their lanes so far, even though Youngest Lay is so massively ahead right now. Yeah, he's going for an equalizing play, uh, trying to take this Rift Herald now, but Hecram's coming in on him, put the sweeper out. Yeah, Pooh's going to be called out. He's forced to away at half health as a scion in the meantime. But Malzahar caught out in the mid wave that rather immobile champion is caught. Now Youngest Lay has been caught. He's going to be shut on down as Shadow Spade on the Shen is up next. SH on SH on SH for that name as I got almost tongue twistered. But that... Like you said, that equalizing play is going to open up a massive hole now for Team Solo Rock as they have to, or they will be giving it up 
thanks to the good counterplay coming out from First Crusade. Works out very well here for First Crusade to be aggressive. And it's hard to ignore that it was just like a massive roam from uh, Antica and uh, Battaglia. They were the first to move and the only to move. They've been roaming uh, up towards that mid lane to help try to make plays uh, in the center of the map for their team. And it's uh, really getting them a pretty heavy lead. Tristan is also able to maintain her lead down bot at the same time, being 4-0 and right now. Well, moving, yeah, like you said, it is, I mean, even CS, so that's a good deal. And having four kills on top of that with an assist and now an extra plate is just going to expand that lead down bot that much more. Now, 1,100 roundabout for the Tristana over Miss Kaisa. That will result in a entire item now, or rather the mythic item completion as Eric's P is being jumped on. A good ult to buffer after the encore as I'm Kim is going to be flying on in for this 4v2 fight. Tristana almost going down. No. A nice attempt from I'm Kim, but caught in the crossfire is Eric Speed. She's oh. going to go down to the sign. Who's TP'd in? A big move from Pooh on that Hecarim as he's gotten a kill for himself. And double now as he picks up the Graves. Or rather, that's a double kill for I don't know who, actually. But, or rather, the Scion. Sorry, but. Now this fight is all but lost for Team Solo. Rock as I'm Kim is caught in <laughs> everything between the Hecarim and the Scion Unstoppable Onslaught. That'll result in a four for one trade here, only losing Red Lightning on the equally immobile uh, Velkaz here. And this game is just ballooning at this point for the red side. What a tragic play for the team solo rock. They had this great bait working out with the Seraphine sitting there. Got the ult off on the Tristana. But again, I'm not sure if the, my client's bugging out. Seraphine's exhaust is still up. If you just exhaust the Tristana there, uh, she's not fast enough to get away. And you're just able to get the first kill of the fight. You're able to get a giant shutdown. And maybe the gold goes uh, more in your favor. And all the while, Seraphine died again. <laughs> yeah, well... That is kind of what happens when you're caught out like that in an awkward spot with the Tristana and the Lulu. You can kind of just be jumped on at any moment, especially alongside the Hecarim. There's just so much freedom and agency from those three champions to engage whenever you feel. And because of that, Anticha and Abitalia are just hunting down. I'm Kim here, forced to flash away and still going to lose three quarters of her HP. Now, Youngest Lay is trying to get something back, not able to Gale Force over that corner, as uh, you can't dash walls with Gale Force. And that's going to result in not nothing gained for not much losses. Now, the Malzahar is going to point blank ult poor Red Lightning, who's been caught in a sticky situation. Malzahar picks that one up, as now Tristana is going to just... I mean, Youngest Lay is just going to stare down the Tristana as she jumps in and picks up a second kill. Kind of gave up on that one, it felt like, as uh, he stared down the, yeah. the very dead AD carry. He uh, took one look at her and got up to get a drink of water. Uh, <laughs> not, not much you can do there. Oh, and you jump no. it on the Seraphine, too. Yeah, it is still going on as Eric's P is just going to be absolutely nuked. I'm Kim trying to get something back, but the whimsy, yeah. or rather the big ult from the Lulu is going yeah. to save the <laughs> rather not going to save the life of the Tristana. I'm Kim picks up a big double kill for herself. A nice cash in of nearly 2k to even up the gold lead just or rather cut it down to just 600. It yeah, it'll be though. You got to be feeling good as I'm Kim. You might have your first item over the horizon now. I I'd be feeling pretty good. Uh meanwhile, Pooh has actually taken the XP lead away from Youngest Lay. Uh, pretty harsh. As we all know, uh, the jungle XP, you get a multiplier once you hit that level 9 mark. And Youngest Slay, despite hitting the level 9 mark first, has not been able to maintain his XP lead, which you want to do once you hit it. You want to start accelerating, farming camps as fast as you can, just really try to take the game over. But instead, just two level down on the enemy soul laner. Yeah, pretty big uh, 
deficit. Granted, it is in the tanks, so it's not inherently a big deal, but... Oh, the poor Lulu is caught in a bad position. She's going to be taken down. A good buffer, at least, by the Tristana to avoid uh, dying without jumping away from the silence from the Malzahar, whose spells I don't know. Uh, it's called than... Void Silence or something. Oh, of course. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? Called Purple Dust Silence. Yeah. Of course, of course. I don't know the uh, on-air Named for Riot name. Purple Dust, and they're going oh. on the Velkaz. Yeah, I was going to talk about Malzahar, but he's found a kill onto Red Lightning alongside Youngest Lei, who is not having the absolute nuclear performances that he's had in the past games this season, where he's been forced into this one-man carry position. But now Shadow Spade is being pressured out. A good flash over the wall might have just saved his life. If he can get an ult off. Pooh has no cancel at this point, And <laughs> help is kind of coming. Up until Eric's P just gets jumped on yet again. Goodbye goes the Seraphine. As now the Tristana is actually in a struggle point. Has to ult away the Kai'Sa. And in comes the Shen ult. But that's going to be cancelled in the top side by Sly Brad. The youngest Lay and a TP are coming in to assist though. As Albitalia is going to give her life for the cause. I'm Kim now on a killing spree. Pretty big here. But who's going to be shutting that down, running right on through the Kai'Sa? It doesn't even matter that Shadow Spade will be TPing in. In fact, it will actually. Because I didn't know Sly Brad was on the flank. A big ult under the Tristana is going to net another shutdown for the Shen this time. As running through them, though, it will be the remaining member of First Crusade. It doesn't even matter that the Tristana went down on in that fight. As Sly Brad and Pooh were able to run it together and control that one very easily. Yeah, Sly Brad is just so ginormous in this game, and he's had these huge ultimate abilities where, you know, traditional Scion players, they'll ult from far away. Sly Brad, he'll be giving you a hug. He'll be giving a few people a hug and then presses R key. It's just this huge knockup that makes it so they can't go anywhere. Yeah, it is very rough. It was a very funny ult positioning, frankly, to see uh, the Scion ult about two and a half feet from behind the entirety of Team Solo Rock. But moving forward, we've got some items. And how are you feeling about the Everfrost tech on Velkaz? Um... Are you ever close enough? I don't know how far Everfrost goes, but it seems like a like an are you ever close enough that you want to Everfrost on Velkaz? Like, mm -hmm. like do you want to be in the range to Everfrost? Is it like Ignite range? Because I know that that I was like know. the old Velkaz rule. It's like, why would you run Ignite on Velkaz if you're close enough to Ignite? You've gone too far. Well, and a nice Maltahar yeah. and by nice, I mean unfortunate. We're gonna see if Youngest Lake cleared it up though. Go. Oh, thank you. The youngest Lay will be forced to try and clean up as now Pooh's been caught out. Sly Brad in an awkward spot, but the huge Tristana <laughs> bomb actually launching back the Seraphine with that bad boy on it. Special delivery for youngest Lay. At least Kim has picked up Tristana in the meantime, but Pooh doing work. He's too tanky for this Kaisa at the moment. She's just not as massively ahead as the Tristana doesn't have that consistent steroid that Kristana can have uh, just because the E does not last the same amount of time as uh, I forget what, Supercharge does not have the same amount of time as no, that's the passive. I don't know Tristana's uh, Q. Her Q? Up. Rapid fire. There we go. I know her ult only. What is Which her of ult? course is Buster Shot. Of course. Uh, this this is a Sly Brad carry type of game. It feels like Tristana and Lulu are trying their best to throw, and Scion saying, "Ha not not on my watch." That, yeah, that's, um, that's how it's looking for me. It does really feel like the Tristana Lulu are just walking side by side, hand in hand. Every at that point, just kind of just like, you know, anywhere that they can fight, they will try and fight. Um, anyone that they can jump on wow. and get jumped on, but a good 
Quicksilver Sash is going to save the life of the Trisana for the moment. As here comes the Scion and the Hecarim. It's going to be Shadow Spade caught out first. As in fact, the Malzahar will be the one going down. Shadow Spade forced back under flame from the Ignite. Now, Youngest Lay is being pressured out. But a good Ooh. shot on the collateral damage is going to find one kill back. But I'm Kim has been caught out in the meantime. Burnt to death and disintegrated by that life form disintegration ray thanks to the Velkaz. And in an awkward team fight that has, I mean, awkward team fight after awkward team fight has just been the name of this game. And it'll be tough to see how Team Solo Rock comes back from now this now near 7k gold lead. My Graves ults never do that much damage. That's, that's, what, what, I, that's what I'm saying. I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> I think that was definitely, though, um, Collector. Yeah, 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 it must have been, right? I, I think uh, Team Solo Rock is going to have to make a stand at the final Mountain Drake. And if they can't do anything about it, then they're just not going to be able to do anything about the game. No way you're taking down this Mountain Soul Scion and Hecarim with the comp that you drafted. Just not enough damage unless Malzahar popping off. And it looks like they're getting caught. Yeah, the Tristana is in fact getting caught front lining here. The youngest Lay is going to try and jump on him, and the bird collect on that one as Lulu also falls. This fight is lost, and Redside will be leaving Sly Brad on his own to die at this point. Red Lightning almost might be caught here. Sly Brad's trying to do something in the zombie form. It'll be up to Pooh without a smite, in fact, to try and make something work for this Baron. They are pretty low health bars on the side of Team Solo Rock as it will be Red Lightning itching to try and find an ultimate over the wall as Pooh's going to be coming in. It's going to be a huge life form disintegration ray to find the Seraphine, but the Baron has been caught or confirmed as I'm Kim is not going to die just yet. She's very low and almost taken out, but Red Lightning is going to try and deal it back to Youngest Lay, <laughs> but cannot. The Grace is just too sticky, like I was saying earlier. And a one team fight, as well as the Baron, has swung this gold lead down or cut this gold lead down to just 2k at this point. Lots of bounties off the table from that fight. Sly Brad facing his first death on the Scion because Malzahar was finally able to free hit with his uh, Leandries. But uh, Lulu and Tristana might need. A bit of a lesson from Scion on who should be the front line and who shouldn't be. I feel like Sly Brad should be like, hey guys, uh, what champions are you? What champion am I? Maybe they can work something out. Maybe they can make their team fights a little bit better next time. But a bit of a casual throw. The gold lead's been closed to what, 2k now? When it was at like 6k? Yeah, yeah it was roundabout. It was six and a half at the least. It was closing in on seven. And now, it, like you said, it's down to under 2k. So it's very, very close compared to what it was. Um, something I want to check really fast. Do you have enough AP to trigger the new uh, Horizon Focus? No, Horizon Focus is not the new passive. It's um, Cosmic Drive that has a new passive. I'm just dumb. Eric P is going to get blasted up and now ran down. Caught before the oh, Encore so can even come out. That's huge here for the fight. As Slybrad is going to come jumping on in. Same as Shadow Spade, though, as the Tristana is finally free hitting very safely. Going to get one reset, two resets at this point. Sly Brad double shielded on up thanks to the Moonstone. And the Lulu is going to survive through the Malzahar burn. And a the very good fight expanded again. Uh, that's a Mountain Soul for free because Graves is dead now. Didn't have Smite anyways, but uh, Eric's XP did the 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 common <laughs> support methodology of walking alone in the jungle. She was. You see it that happen alone, time though. and time again. Yeah, but you know you're you're kind of alone, alone, and enough. that's all that matters. Yeah. That's the thing. That is the big thing. She was alone enough. And, and you gotta uh, wonder uh, if Shadow Spade should have uh, pulled the trigger on his ult to ult the Seraphine there. Mm -hmm. To give a team enough time to arrive, give Seraphine enough time to ult. Because that ult could have been a game changer there. Malzahard was almost able to kill Slybrat again, but not quite. Yeah, it was very close. As a, I'm, I agree. I think 
ulting youngest lay to get into the fight rather than uh to save the seraphine is not the right call especially considering that looking at that encore unless uh it was buffered by the tristana or cleansed away actually i don't know if that was up at the moment um it would have caught the lulu it would have caught the top the scion it might have caught the velkaz if i'm remembering correctly but I mean, that would have been a huge encore, and she would have lived through the Hecarim damage, I believe, with that Stand United shield buff on her. So, could be a little bit of a misplay at that point, that could be said, but that will swing the gold lead a little bit more once again in favor. I mean, it, it hasn't left the favor of uh, First Crusade, but it definitely was swinging away, and now it is... Firmly back in their hands at just over 3,000. As now Youngest Lay is being pressured by Twybrad wow. alone, as I believe a dive will be coming on in. Youngest Lay is going to be jumped on and absolutely nuked by the Tristana at this point. Slybred trying to do what he can as Youngest Lay <laughs> rather fell a missed Seraphine Encore. She's going to be slowed up from the Everfrost technology. Who will pick up the kill on Eric's P as the Shenult trying to save the life of Kim? It will do that indeed as the Kaisa runs for the hills. But another lost fight off the back of an interesting dive taken by Sly Brad will at least result in the loss of this bottom inhibitor. And it very well could be more considering how easily Tristana busts through these towers. Yeah, and they could just look for the dive right now, but it looks like they might play it a little bit more cautiously and walk away. Uh, next major objective will probably be the Baron again. Yeah, spawning in just a minute, so looks like they're probably just going to go for uh, a quick Baron into an end. Not bad, though, by, uh, by the boys. I like that tower dive by Sly Brad uh ultimate ability into being under tower alone for like 10 seconds and then your team just all pounces them really uh <laughs> really good awareness you know the channel can't uh bolt his inting teammates if he's the inting teammate you know of course of course that's the age-old adage i think <laughs> yeah. that one's a sun shoe <laughs> uh yeah i think that's a sun new one definitely um could have been it, it very easily, though, probably could have been Aristotle as well. You never yeah, know. Yeah, it's hard to remember. I know that we both studied <laughs> the course, ancient um, texts over and I was over. Gonna, oh, God, we are right on top of one another. <laughs> of course, we are just I wish. Two, two... Okay. Two gigantic hey, brained scholars. But Youngest Lay is going to be caught out at the moment. Forced to Gale Force, forced to dash. Not able to flash because he does not have that. He's almost going to be taken down. Pooh not able to get the kill, but neither is Youngest Lei. As Red Lightning is now using his massive brain, fishing with whatever geometry that he knows to try and find some damage, but cannot. It's very nice, at least. It's been a long the, uh... time since uh, sophomore year in high school, so, yeah. you know, it's, it's a little rusty. <laughs> yeah. I just realized, too, that uh, Horizon Focus is very good for Velkaz and other champions like that, like Zareth. Um, yeah, I, I because... think I was trolling earlier when I said it wouldn't be. Yeah. Um, just because everything is an untargeted ability that goes like 700 range. Your ult, your W, your... Oh, I wasn't thinking of Horizon Focus. I was thinking of the other one. Keep going. Uh, the Cosmic? I think of Everfrost. Oh, Everfrost. Ever... I think Everfrost is a little... Uh... A little inty, but that ult is not the huge Seraphine ult is actually to swipe the team alongside I'm Kim. Collectors chiming in everywhere. Kim has found three big kills here and massive shutdowns off of a huge ult from Eric's P. Denying the Baron almost entirely as the Elder will be coming up in 50 seconds. That is enough time at the least for the Hecarim, for the Tristana and Lulu to be coming on up. But there is still hope in this game. There still will be full ults on the side of the blue side. And now Kim is actually being ran down by Sly Brad. Forced to flash, and that is a huge timer as well. She will not be able to play as aggressively here in this Elder Drake fight. 
than she would probably hope to. Yeah, you know, uh, on those immobile ADCs, I know she has her ultimate ability, but you definitely want to be having that flash move, especially going into the Hecarim, the Tristana, and the Lulu that are going to be ride or die di dying on you in this uh, Elder Dragon fight. But they might be able to just clean it up either way. I want to look at the ultimates real quick, and uh, Seraphine just about up. So they want to be stalling up for a little bit. Uh, Kaisa is on the horizon with her ult. Mm -hmm. It looks like they're going to start it, start it up over on the side of uh, First Crusade, and that's a fast Elder. Woo! Yeah, thanks to the Tristana and the Velkaz, who's going to be burning away the poor Malzahar. The Zaps coming on in, the the blast from the Dragon Poo is going to be blasted on down as the Tristana is almost taken down, but blasting away is that Elder buff. Tristana able to pick up another kill for herself onto Youngest Lay, and that very well could be the end of this game here. Yeah, it, you could say it wasn't his youngest day, but uh, he what? tried his best. <laughs> what does that mean? Seven. You know, it wasn't a day. <laughs> okay. That Sly Brad, I think, had a pretty powerful carry performance this game. I think most of the team fights were his doing. I think uh, Tristana and Lulu tried to throw. I think Red Lightning was never in a position not to throw. And uh, Pooh definitely made a comeback, though. Yeah, Pooh had a very rough early game as Eric's P is just having a rough time at this point, being blasted as much as she can from the Tristana. But in the end, a very good win. As, uh, wow, Youngest Lay did so much. And interestingly, the Scion almost out-damaged uh, the Kaisa, which is not really something I was anticipating to say. And, you know, when you have the team comp that uh, Team Solar Rock, yeah, look at that damage, that's hilarious. The Team Solar Rock drafted, you need the Graves to be doing so much you know like he need to be the one dealing lots of damage but there were just a few too many missteps on the side of team solo rock if they were able to play that early game a bit more safely uh get into a point where seraphine can just dominate the game with malzahar and just have graves uh deal and wheel but they weren't able to get to that stage and they had to play some uh some guerrilla warfare-esque fights that almost went in their favor it was so close yeah it is pretty tough but we will be starting our little poll to get an interview on in i lost all my channel points on that game really i did not bet that one sadly um so however oh something to note at least is um mr wisher has been a plague for the betting but today he's finally broken that he has voted for the right team he keeps voting for the team that ends up losing accidentally just because he keeps mm -hmm. wanting to vote for uh yeah i don't know it is a uh, a tough time but we'll be seeing who we get in for an interview um what what can we talk about from this game? Because it was a very messy mid game from um, from First Crusade, all things considered. Just because they kept really trying to play uh, engage Tristana there. I think uh, what you need to think about here is uh, First Crusade of VCU is three and zero. But if they're putting up performances like that, I don't think the three and O is going to stand for very long. It might just be a strength of schedule issue, and their uh, their their flawless record might drop off rather quickly. Who knows, though? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna terrorize Red Lightning Squad right now. Uh, but we should be checking out adoption centers in the next coming weeks. There might be a support, a mid laner, and a top laner put on. Uh, put, put in the center. We'll see. Wow. That that one's mean. That one's mean. <laughs> so if anybody's looking for a <laughs> Malzahar player, but I think we should get in 
to the interview. Let's yeah. see who won. Red Mr. Lightning, Red Mr. Lightning. Mr. Red you know Lightning. the. Come yeah, you know the deeds. Get in here. He? Where is he, Mr. Tristan? Will he join at any point? Will he get on in here, gamer? Come on. I'm there here. He is. Howdy, guys. What's up? Like our favorite ending te ending te tentacle man. Yes, that's me. So, first question for me. Um, why? Why Velcott? Uh, oh, I like it. In the, yeah, I like one. it in the Malzahar. I mean, it's just one of my favorite picks. It's what I play in solo queue against Malzahar. I didn't kill him this time, but you usually can get solo kills once you hit level six. So that's what I went for. I see. So... You, just, you just ult him. He has no way to get out of your ult. I think uh, after checking uh, both OPGG and Pro builds, you may be the only Malzahar to build uh, build the mythic that you Bell chose Christ. to build. Probably. Yeah. Everfrost is, is just Everfrost. so good. Everfrost is, I mean, I feel like it's just really good. I didn't use it very well this game, but... Uh, almost ever lost to this game. Uh, true. But it just gives you so much peel. Um, I like it a lot. Yeah, I'm literally building it on just every single mage right now, because I, th I think the item is just kind of busted. And then, you I know, think, uh, Horizon Focus. I see you've been, you've been drinking the Brandon Kool-Aid here. It's just too good. <laughs> I mean, it's good on every single uh, like... AP anything. It's just the best item in the game right now. I think what you need to uh I don't I don't I don't know. I, I hey hey. You're you're the professional. I'm just an I'm just an amateur. I, I dabble in the game. <laughs> but uh, but I think that Velkaz's range might be too long to truly utilize yeah, uh, the Everfrost. It didn't work as good as I thought it was going to. Uh, I I, I should have built I should have just built you Leon Breeze. <laughs> No, I mean, I think I thought it was going to be pretty good. I imagined in my head, like, wow, I hit him with Everfrost, and then it's a free combo to one-shot them. But the only time I got a chance to hit him with Everfrost was when I was getting killed by David uh, with Graves in my face. So yeah, it uh, it didn't work. Red Lightning, Powerful on a scale from 1 to 10, how oh. cute are you? Uh, a 10, easily. Yeah, that's what I fucking thought. It's true. I am the cutest mid laner here. That is... True. You do have Brandon beat somewhere, at least. It's true. Um, so, moving on forward, though, you guys move up to three and zero. Um, I mean, is there, at the moment, this is kind of opening the floor to you, trash talk, please. Uh, is there any team that you are looking out for that you think can beat you? Uh, I mean the whoop percentage is pretty good. Like, yeah, I've heard they're 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 decent. Um, I th I don't think I think we're better than they are, but I think they're pretty good. Uh, we've we've been scrimming them. We've we've had some fun games back and forth. So I enjoy that. I think they're like the top competitor. But you know, I'm not saying we're going to go undefeated in the regular season or anything. But like, I I think we're a good bit better than every other team at this point. Uh, at least. And you heard it here first from Red Lightning. Next week's match against the Wooper Syndicate, the first crusade of VCU is going to utterly destroy them, maybe with another uh, Everfrost Velkaz tech. Dude, I, I promise, I'll build Everfrost on every champion. It's it's too good right now. It's it's literally insane. Um, and just hopefully I don't have to play against Malzahar next time. You're not supposed to blind pick Malzahar, man. You're supposed to pick it against Assassins and punish them and make them regret playing the game. This is This was a scumbag move. Um, wow! Yeah, he just—he's just out here inting my KDA. But you know what? I'm happy. Every single Malzalt that was not used on Daniel was a win for our team. So I'll tank him. I'll die. Daniel's the carry. Uh, and except for maybe Sly Brad, who obviously is insane in the Sly top Brad lane. Sly Brad popped off this game. I was, I was very proud. What are your thoughts on Dogecoin? Uh, Dogecoin is also insane. Uh, I can't hype them up because I'm still mad from our scrims against them. <laughs> um, we we went one and one, but Mr. Lokesh here wouldn't leave me alone. Um, which, you know, looking back at it, it's not surprising. Um, the more time I spend near Lokesh, the happier I usually am. But, you know, after going like one and 14 in that scrim, I was not super pumped. So Dogecoin, you know, they're okay. Right. Second, they're the third best team. 
That's interesting. No, 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 no. We're eighth. We're eighth place. Consider True. that everyone did put them uh like exceptionally low. Oh poor red lightning, three and ten. <laughs> That's a rough one. Um three and ten? I think they're three and ten. No, you did go three and ten. Oh, in the scrim, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the scrim, yeah, in the scrim. In the scrim. Yeah. I definitely did go three and ten. Hey, to be fair though, I solo killed equivalent in both of the scrim games we played. Whoa. So, Tristan so, leaking right, scrim. Uh, so so yeah, like I might have gotten shit on and he might have played better than me throughout the entire game in both games, but I got the solo kills. That's all that matters in lane. You know, we're insane. All right. Okay. Well, good game, Tristan. You guys killed it. Besides when you almost threw like seven times, but besides that, you guys did a pretty insane job at winning that game. Uh, great interview. You can leave now. Ah, okay. Thanks, guys. <laughs> no problem. Well, like we said, that'll be it for us. It is a uh, pretty good and to the game um pretty good end to tonight's stream so we appreciate you all for joining in i've been cherish joining with me is mr connor and on the camera today was mr lokesh so appreciated him or appreciating him as uh, as well as the fancy graphics made by mr stephen caruse so that being said, we thank you all for watching and from everyone at VCU Esports, Brandon included, have a good night. Peace out, guys. Bye. Thanks for taking.